Hello students, I am Sahana Prasad from Department of Commerce, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Welcome to Business Studies class. In today's session, let's continue with chapter 11 that is marketing and today's topic is product. So what is product? Product is the item offered for sale. It is an object or a system which is available to consumers for use. When we buy a product, we not only see its uh, physical qualities, but we also consider certain non-tangible or psychological factors. Let me give you one example. Suppose a person uh, buys a car, he is uh, not only buying nets, bolts, engine or wheels, but also it is a status symbol, it is a means of transport, guarantees and warranties of a particular car and the brand name or the image of the company etc. So product may be defined as anything which is offered to a market to satisfy the needs and wants of a consumer. Product is offered for attention, acquisition, use or consumption. Now let us see what are the classification of products. In this table, you can see product can be classified into consumer product and industrial product. Under consumer product, you can see on the basis of durability and on the basis of shopping efforts involved. Under durability, you can see durable, non-durable and services. And on the basis of shopping efforts involved, convenience product, shopping product and speciality product and under industrial product it is further classified into materials and parts, capital items, supplies and business service. So now let us see one by one. Now let us see the classification of products on the basis of durability. Durability means yeshtu baalke barate adana now durability in the karitivi. So, first one is non-durable products. Non-durable products means you can use this products only once. So, for example, soap, toothpaste, uh, detergents and stationary products, all these products you can use only once. So, that we call it as non-durable products. And these products have very uh, small uh, profit margin and this is available almost in every locality and all these products need to be heavily advertised. Non-durable products and e products na one day sati na use maada kaagadu, one sati use maada mila adana matte matte use maada ke aagala. So adana na non-durable products and the kariti. Next is durable products. Durable products means jaste baal ke baraantadu. See, all these products, we use it again and again. For example, radio, refrigerator, television, bicycle and a few kitchen gadgets. We use these products again and again. So that we call it as durable products. And then once we use it, we dispose it. And then we use it and use it. And then we use durable products. So for this durable products, it requires personal selling, and it also requires a few advertisements and guarantee and warranty is also needed and after sale services also required. So that is durable products. Next is service. Products we can see but service you cannot see. We can only feel its presence. For example, uh, dry cleaning, watch repair, hair salon, uh, service given by a uh, post office or a service given by lawyer all these are examples of services and a service is intangible intangible means which you cannot see or you cannot touch and a service is inseparable from its source we cannot uh, separate service from the person who is giving the service so that is inseparable services cannot be stored they are perishable for example if if a tailor doesn't work for a week or for a month, the services which he would have provided in those days would go waste. And services are highly variable. It depends on the type of the service which is given by a particular person. Services are highly variable. On the basis of time and effort, here buyers spend more time 
to do shopping. So on the basis of shopping efforts involved, first one is convenience products. Convenience product means these products which are purchased frequently, immediately with less time and effort. For example, uh, medicines, newspapers, uh, stationery uh, items, ice cream, all these are examples of convenience products. Now let us see its features. First one is it is purchased at convenient location. These convenience products are available in almost all locations and you can go and purchase these products with less time and less effort. Next is all these products have continuous demand and these products they generally have continuous demand. See newspapers, medicines, stationery products, all these products they will have continuous demand. And next is low price and small unit of purchase. All these convenience products it is usually of low price and it is usually purchased in smaller quantities. And next is standardized price and branded. Standardized price means the price of this product is fixed and it is branded. Branded means it has got its own image and identity. And next is here supply is greater than demand and here the competitions of these products is greater compared to other type of products and that is why here supply of these product is larger than demand and these uh, convenience products needs heavy advertisement and next is sales promotion scheme so in order to increase say so they have to advertise their product so sales promotion is required by uh, sales contests or offering discounts etc so all these are features of convenience product on the basis of shopping efforts involved, second one is shopping products. So here shopping products means here the customers they try to spend more time in purchasing these products. So here the buyers they devote considerable time in comparing the quality, uh, price, design, color with other products. So for example. Uh, clothes, shoes, jewelries, radio, television, furniture, all these are examples of shopping products. So now let us see the features. First one is shopping products are durable in nature. Durable and reno jasti barke barantadu. So other now shopping products in the karate. Shopping products in other usually jasti barke barate. They normally survive many uses. Next is here the profit margin is high. So the profit margin of these products are usually high. So the profit margin for shopping products is high. When compared to other products, businessmen can uh, earn more profit from shopping products. So that is profit margin is high. Next is uh, here the customers, they compare products of different companies before selecting the product. So usually now you know shopping hog beko on tandre. Now shopping ho daga ali bere bere companies the product cheni rate adu nella no compare maadi aamele final agi a product na select maarti. That is compare products of different companies before selection. Next is pre-plan. So whenever you go out for a shopping it is usually pre-plan. Ivaga for example you bate to golok hog tira atwa shoes or bodo jewelry or bodo then munchra ni wo plan maarko hog tira. Yel to gol beko yesh budget to ella no ni wo plan maarko hog tira. So that is pre-planned. Next is here retailers effort is needed to convince the buyers to buy a particular product. Retailers ay ni rtaare, madhya arthi gale ay ni rtaare, aur the effort ili tummane important. A product when the sale ag beko on ta idre aur tummane important role na play maartare. So they usually try to convince the buyer to uh, buy that particular product. So these are the features of shopping products. Now on the basis of shopping efforts involved, third one is speciality products. So speciality products andre are products ke kelo special features irate. So people make a special effort to uh, purchase that particular product. For example, artwork, antique piece, etc. Uh, artwork uh, paintings are bodhu, atwa rare collection of paintings, antique piece andre hale du, uh, rare agi sigonta kelu uh, items e nirate, other now speciality products and the karithi. Coming to the features, here the demand is limited compared to other types of products. So the demand for these products are limited and 
these products they are quite costly when we compared with other products these specialty products are quite costly idike tumane bele irutte for example artwork and antique piece a rare collection of paintings or show piece all these are quite costly and next is it is available only at a few places for sale ivaga sale ge anta ninge ella kade nu specialty product sigala kelu jagadalli matra sigutte so customers yaru buy martare a product na avaru aa jaga na hudkond hoge product na buy madbeku next is aggressive promotion is required so uh, if they have to increase a uh, sale of these specialty products so uh, they have to promote their particular product so aggressive promotion is required next is after sale service after sale service means after selling a particular product service must be given to the customers those have bought those particular product so these are the uh, features of specialty product now next type of products is industrial product so industrial products are those products which are used as inputs in producing other products for example uh, raw materials uh, engines uh, lubricants tools etc so industrial products are for non personal use and these products are used only for business purpose now let us see the characteristics of industrial products first one is number of buyers here number of buyers are limited compared to other type of products for example here sugar cane is purchased only by few producers of sugar but sugar is a consumer product which is used by large number of people so here the number of buyers are limited next is channel level here as the number of buyers are small so these industrial uh, products are uh, sold only by direct channel that is one level channel so that is channel level next is geographic concentration because of location of industries at only a certain region industrial markets are highly concentrated the demand for power loom comes from a uh, bombay sholapur bangalore etc whereas the demand of textile industry is concentrated in our country so that is geographic concentration derived demand derived demand means the demand for industrial products is derived from other consumer products for example ivaga uh, shoes ke jaasti demand ide andre leather ge ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಡಿರೈವ್ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರೇಷನ್ ವೈಲ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಸಿಪ್ರೋಕಲ್ ಬೈಯಿಂಗ್ ರೆಸಿಪ್ರೋಕಲ್ ಬೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಇವಾಗ ಒಂದು ಕಂಪನಿ ಒಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ನ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರು ಏನು ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ನ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಬೇರೆ ಕಂಪನಿ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಂಪನಿ ಏನೋ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ನ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಈ ಕಂಪನಿ ಬೈ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇವಾಗ ಅಶೋಕ್ ಲೇಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಕಂಪನಿ ಟ್ರಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ಅದರದ್ದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋಂಥ ವೀಲ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಟೈಯರ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಕಂಪನಿಯಿಂದ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ವಿಚ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ದಿ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಮೇ ಬೈ ಟ್ರಕ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲೇಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಸಿಪ್ರೋಕಲ್ ಬೈ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಈ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಲೀಸ್ಗೆ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಲೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರೀಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ರಾ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕಾಟನ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಕೇಕ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ರೂಡ್ ಪೆಟ್ರೋಲಿಯಂ ಐರನ್ ಓರ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಂಬರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ಡ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ಡ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ parts so component materials means a uh, glass iron plastic and component uh, parts like tire electric tube uh, steering and battery second is capital item capital items means capital items means these are the goods which are used
so supplies and business service means so these are short lasting goods and services which facilitate developing or managing the finished product uh, for example maintenance and repair like paint nails etc and the operating uh, supplies like uh, stationery like uh, lubricant computer stationery writing paper etc so all these comes under supplies and business service so these are the uh, classification on the basis of industrial products so and i hope you have understood today's session thank you